Hi friends, it's Miss Hazel. And Miss Kate. All right, here we are with another sewing project for you. Oh my gosh, this one might be our favorite one yet. It's a cow. So a cow. Look, he has a tail and spots on the back. Oh my gosh, so fun. But first, I want to shout out to two of our friends, Marcus Ray and Bella from Alameda. Hello. We got a request today if we could call out two at once. So yes. I just tried it. And we need to say hi to Shruti too. Like, oh, hi, hi Shruti. Shruti. Yeah, Shruti okay. here in Alameda too. Some of our camp friends. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to make our friend the cow. So cute. Okay, I'm going to, so we, you know, we've got our first parts and um, I've sort of got started a little bit. The first thing I did is I put white thread on and I sewed on my spots. That's the back. And I sewed on my spots here. And I sewed on the whites of my eyes. You can see the back. I used white thread for all of that. Then, oh, but before I did that, I sewed my eyes together. I sewed the black onto the white. And I sewed the black nostrils onto my mouth, nose area for my pig, for my cow. So then I put it on. Then I used white. And next I did the mouth. And so I've sewed it with pink. And this time I thought it'd be kind of fun. And so we've stuffed a little bit to make a nose stick out a little bit. So you're gonna sew it around almost the whole way. And then you can just put a little bit of fluff in there and then sew up your, it's kind of the nose and the mouth. I'm using the running stitch. That's the one that looks like it just follows itself around. And Going it looks on. like the lines in the street. The line is in a line. It, yeah, it, yeah, that helps people know what that looks like. Yeah, okay. So now I've sewed on my, you can see it's stuffed, my little fluffy nose. And I put a couple, I like to put like two stitches into the same spot so it doesn't, the thread doesn't come undone. Oh, look at my sewing scissors today. <laughs> They're actually cardboard scissors, but I think they'll work. Oh, hey, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, now I have my face made and I've got my back made. I sewed my little tail on. I had to cut a little fringe on my tail so it looks like a tail. Now I'm going to start by laying my back side down. This one's a little trickier than some of the ones we've made because the ears are going to go on the side and the horns go right next to the ears. So I'm going to lay it like that, horns out next to the ears, and then I'm going to lay it on top. Oh, this is going to be hard to keep it all together to sew, isn't it? Yes. So I think maybe if you keep it down on your, on your sewing surface, if you keep it down on your table, it might be your easiest. And I've got some brown thread and I'm going to go, I'm going to start, um, by sewing my one ear on first. I do think this is going to be a little bit tricky, but I also know that you can do it because it doesn't have to be perfect. You're trying your very best, and I'm sure that's going to do a really good job. And so, we all know that if you practice something, you get yeah. really good at it. Our friend Bella is becoming a really good sewer. And Marcus Ray and is Marcus about to Ray too. a really good Yes. Sewer. Sometimes he does partner projects with his mom. This time he's okay. Now I've done my ear, okay, and now I'm gonna get my horn in there. You know, let's see over by the ear, and I'm gonna keep sewing. It's a little bit tricky, but worth it because you'll have a really nice cow friend to join your pig friend and your chicken friend if you've done them all. All right, so I do like that. And then keep sewing and then do your horn, your second horn next. And then, okay, then because usually we stuff our, our cow on, on, we usually stuff our animal at the head. We're going to have to stuff our um, cow at the bottom. So you're going to get your ears on and then you're going to sew around and you'll stop here. This guy already did it. Stop here and get another thread and sew it around till here. And then you're going to stuff it up and make sure you use your fingers and get your fluff into your um, arms and then hook it together at the bottom. This is also a tricky part, but I think with practice, you're just going to get better and better at it. And then I'm going to squeeze it together and I'm going to sew his legs together. And 
keep your fluff from falling keeping out. my fluff from keep falling out. Miss Hazel, mm -hmm. I just have yes. this idea. If you didn't want to stuff it, could that also become a puppet? Oh, Miss Kate, you're so smart. You're always thinking. I try to think at all. Times. Oh my gosh, that's so good. You could. You I just could. thought that it could be a really funny oh, puppet. I think that we might have to try that next week. Yeah, maybe we'll start making some puppets too. Oh, I love that idea. All right, so I'm finishing up my last few stitches. And again, everybody remember, say it with me, put a couple of stitches into the same place so that it doesn't fall apart. Getting out my sewing scissors, not really. And I'm going to cut that thread. And now look at my friend. So he's very cute. He's very cute. Yeah. And there's his back. And then he could go on the shelf behind you with Pig. He could join our friends. Here we go. Join our friends. There they are. The barnyard friends. So if you like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Instagram at in Alameda Arts Fun. Yes, Alameda yeah. Arts Fun. All right. Bye, bye friends. Bye, See you next time. time.